What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Investing Trade with Jax. We're going to go over Gala, Gala Games. Uh, currently we're sitting at 21 cents. Now, a coin like Gala is under $1. They're very volatile, guys, similar to VeChain. Uh, we're up 17% on the day. They drop hard and they pump hard as well. We're sitting at a market cap of 1.51 billion, 24 hour volume, 579 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app. And you can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cashback and crypto free Spotify, Netflix Prime, travel incentives, depending on the level of card that you have. $25 just for signing up through my referral. Let's start on the four hour chart for Gala. So you can see, guys, look at this RSI, extremely oversold, money flow, double bottom, breakout. So technical analysis, once you know the basics, it's pretty easy, guys. It's like riding a bike, and then you can just understand the more advanced stuff as you go along. So we've broken this double bottom. Your technical target is 25 cents. Would be beautiful if we could reach that target because we'd get above the 55 EMA on the daily, or sorry, on the four hour chart, which would be a sign of strength. If we go over to the one hour time frame, we are quite overbought, guys. A little bit of a bearish divergence on the money flow as well. So we could definitely see a move back down. Do watch this neckline. We need to hold it if we're gonna see continuation of this pattern. Usually what you'll see is a breakout. You'll see a back test of support before seeing continuation. So that's what you wanna look for and that's what you wanna see. If the Fed news today is positive, as you can see here, stocks move higher ahead of Fed meeting today. So if they don't increase the interest rate, if they don't if they don't hike up the interest rates, then that will be good news and the market will trend upwards. So the US stocks posted strong gains ahead of a Federal Reserve announcement that is expected to provide more clarity on coming interest rate increases, the prospect of which has spooked markets this year. So if they increase the interest rates, guys, it's bad for the market, we'll most likely see a drop off. However, guys, if we have positive news and they don't increase the interest rates too badly here, uh, we could see a nice bounce in the market, in my opinion. So let's get back over to Gala Games. Um, let's jump over to the back over to the four hour time frame. So we've had a major drop, guys. As I've been saying, these coins under $1, they're extremely volatile, like penny stocks. Penny stocks are extremely volatile as well. 81% drop. But the harder the drop, the harder the pump, guys. And you can see with Gala from the bottom here, we're already up. Uh, 36%. So major, major pump here for Gala Games, one of the top movers today. So if we can hold 26 cents, sorry guys, 20 cents or the neckline uh, would be a positive sign if we can hold the 20 EMA. Uh, but if we do break below it, guys, we could create a little bit of a triple bottom, but we don't have much support here for Gala till about 11 cents and 0 0.08 cents. And from the current price, that's a drop of another 44%, and you're looking about a 60% drop down to 80 cents. So crucial that Gala bounces here. We've lost this strong level of support, but we have broken back above it. So we need to hold these levels if we're gonna see continuation back to the upside for Gala Games. Let's pop over to the daily time frame. We broke out of this descending triangle. We've already met our target. We broke a little bit lower, but we are overextended from the EMA. So I'd expect at least a push back up to retest the EMAs. If we do come down, maybe we create a double bottom or we push up to at least about 28 cents to 55 is coming in at about 33 cents for Gala. And we have some major resistance here, which is coming in at about 36 cents. So that would be a beautiful bounce and from the current price, if we were to bounce up to that resistance, about a 70, 77% pump for Gala Games. So if we get some good news today from the Federal Reserve, I definitely think we could see that for Gala. However, if we do come down, guys, watch for a double bottom on the daily. And if that support is lost, guys, there's really not much support till down at about 10 or 11 cents for our friend Gala. That's that's basically it, just a little update here for Gala. Hopefully we can hold support here, create a little bit of a bull flag. As you can see here, we have a little bit of a bull flag for me. You can take your flag pull, take it to your point of breakout, and can bring you up to that next um, entry point, which is 30 cents, which lines up with this level of resistance. All right, guys? And in your next levels of support, if we lose this low, we have 11 cents and 0 0.08 cents where our next buy zones are located. We've had many entries here. Our break even is sitting at about 35 cents. So we have a lot of money in our trade. If we drop lower, of course, it will take longer to bounce back up to our break even. But we're getting more money into our trade and we're bringing down our average price. If you want a dollar cost average, 
average with us, guys. If you're new to this strategy, equal amounts at each buy zone brings your average price down halfway each time. And you can leverage trade two to three X leverage and you have to double your margin. So if your first entry is 500, your next entry 500, and then 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. But as a spot trader, 500, 500, 500, 500. All right, guys, if you want early access to these charts as well as 1,000 members talking all things crypto, posting chart patterns, posting all kinds of analytics getting destroyed short trading <laughs> as well as the dca charts for many many altcoin projects uh, with buy zones and take profit levels the price of a coffee 350 usd and i'll see you in the next video all right much love take care